Kingdom Blessings, I'm Pastor Sheila. Are you ready to be blessed, revived, and refreshed? Well, it's time for Moed Shel Raga, the appointed time of refreshing. Come on, let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the Word of God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Moet shell raga. Moet mm. shell raga. The appointed time of refreshing. It's time for the word. The word of God. It's time to be blessed and refreshed. For in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy, joy, joy. At his right hand, pleasures forevermore. Moed Shalaraga. Moed Shalaraga. Mueshiraga, the appointed time of refreshing. I want to abide in Him and let His words abide in me. I'll ask what I will, and it shall be done. I love the Lord with all my heart, with all my mind and all my soul. Mm, how I love him and give him praise. I'll forever give him all the praise. All my days, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So let's hide his word in our hearts, so that we will not. I don't want to sin against him. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Da 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 Let's give him all the glory, all the glory, all the glory, and pray. Come on, let's go. The word of the Lord is coming from 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verses 1 to 36. I'm reading from the Life Application Study Bible. It says, So they brought the ark of God into the special tent David had prepared for it, and they sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. When he had finished, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave a gift of food to every man and woman in Israel, a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. 
David appointed the following Levites to lead the people in worship before the ark of the Lord by asking for his blessings and giving thanks and praise to the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph, the leader of this group, sounded the cymbals. His assistants were Zechariah the second, then Jael, Shemarama, Jael, Matithia, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jael. They played the harps and lyres. The priest, Benaniah and Jehaziel, played the trumpets regularly before the Ark of God's Covenant. That day, David gave to Asaph and his fellow Levites this song of thanksgiving to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his miracles. Exalt in his holy name. O worshipers of the Lord, rejoice. Search for the Lord and for his strength and keep on searching. Think of the wonderful works he has done, the miracles and the judgments he handed down. O children of Israel, God's servant, O descendants of Jacob, God's chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His rule is seen throughout the land. He always stands by his covenant, the commitment he made to a thousand generations. This is the covenant he made with Abraham and the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree, to the people of Israel as a never ending treaty. I will give you the land of Canaan as your special possession. He said this when they were few in number, a tiny group of strangers in Canaan. They wandered back and forth between nations from one kingdom to another. Yet he did not let anyone oppress them. He warned kings on their behalf. Do not touch these people I have chosen and do not hurt my prophets. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. He is to be revered above all gods. The gods of other nations are merely idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround him. Strength and beauty are in his dwelling. O nations of the world, recognize the Lord. Recognize that the Lord is glorious and strong. Give to the Lord the glory he deserves. Bring your offering and come to worship him. Worship the Lord in all his holy splendor. Let all the earth tremble before him. The world is firmly established and cannot be shaken. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Tell all the nations that the Lord is king. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the fields and their crops burst forth with joy. Let the trees of the forest rustle with praise before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Cry out, save us, O God of our salvation. Gather and rescue us from among the nations so we can thank your holy name and rejoice and praise you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shouted, Amen and praised the Lord.
Hallelujah. Go ahead and say, Amen. God, we praise you. The note says, certain Levites were appointed to give continual praise and thanks to God. Praise and thanksgiving should be a regular part of our lives, a regular part of our routine, not reserved only for celebrations. Praise God continually and you will find that you won't take his blessings for granted. Four elements of true thanksgiving are found in this psalm. First, remembering what God has done. Second, telling others about it. Third, showing God's glory to others. And fourth, offering gifts of self, time, and resources. If you are truly thankful, your life will show it. This covenant that's referred in verses 15 to 18 was given to Abraham in Genesis 15 verses 18 to 21 and then passed on to Isaac. You can find it in Genesis 26 verses 24 and 25 and then to Jacob. You'll see that in Genesis 28, 13 to 15. God promised to give the land of Canaan, which is present day Israel, to their descendants. He also promised that the Messiah would come from their line. The basis of praise is declaring God's character and attributes in the presence of others. When we recognize and affirm his goodness, we are holding up his perfect moral nature for all to see. Praise benefits us because it takes our mind off of our problems and our needs and it focuses us on God, on God's power, on his mercy, his majesty, and his love. Genuine praise also involves ascribing glory to God. Hallelujah. Remember this in your worship and give God all of the glory. Asaph and his fellow Levites ministered in the temple doing each day whatever was needed. To carry out God's work is not merely to engage in religious exercises. It includes other necessary tasks. Even if you don't have the opportunity to teach or preach, God can use you in the ministry. What needs to be done? Cleaning, serving, singing, planning, administering. The list goes on and on. Look, it's time to look for ways to minister each day. David brought the ark to Jerusalem, although the tabernacle was still at Gibeon. His plan was to reunite the tabernacle and ark in a new temple at Jerusalem that would then become Israel's only worship center. The temple, however, was not built until Solomon's time. In the meantime, Israel had two worship centers and two high priests. You can see that in verse 11 of chapter 15. One at Gibeon and one at Jerusalem. My dearly beloved, my brothers and sisters, sons of God, I come to remind you today to give God praise. How do we give him praise? Sure, we can say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I praise you. God, I worship you. God, I bless you. But one of the best ways to give God glory is to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is our reasonable service. What does that mean? That means every act that we do, every deed, every word, let it be in praise to God. Encourage someone instead of tearing them down. <laughs> give God the glory with everything that comes out of your mouth. Everything that you do, give him glory. I like the part where it says you don't have to teach or preach because you know so many people run, run to the pulpit. They run to do different things. But look, everything 
matters to God. There's no simple task. There's no little task. When you encourage someone, when you sweep the floors and clean the bathroom, when, when you uh, give your time to the Lord in prayer, fasting, interceding for someone else, praying for somebody else, that's worshiping God. That's giving him your life. And it's time for the sons of God to manifest. If you take a look at the weather, at the environment, all of nature, it's just in convulsions. It's earning, it's groaning for our king to come back. So in order for that to happen, the sons of God need to get together. We need to manifest. We need to present ourselves as living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto God in everything we say and do. Because if you haven't noticed, there's a dying world that needs to be saved. Is your neighbor saved? Are your family members saved? That means we got work to do. We have work to do. As I always say, if you can hear me because you're here and you're alive, God has you here for a purpose. We are here to carry out our Father's business. We should be carrying the good news of the gospel so that others can benefit from the love that God has for us. Yeah, we know the scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have every everlasting life. But you know what? We have to let them know that God loves them. So son of God, get busy. That's how you can give him praise. That's how you can give him thanks. By doing the work of the ministry. Again, it's not about teaching. It's not about preaching. It's about spreading the good news of the gospel. How do you do that? By living a holy life before the world. So that they can say, hey, what, what's, something's different about that guy. Something's different. How, how can you be so calm and peaceful in the pandemic? How, how could that? How, you know, they'll, they'll scratch their head. And they won't even understand. And then that's an open door for you to witness and say, look, let me tell you about my God. That's what happened with Paul and Silas. They were locked in jail. But guess what? As they prayed, they gave thanks to God. As they gave thanks to God, God showed up on the scene and God broke them out. There was a great earthquake and they were rescued by the Lord. But not only them, but everybody in the prison with them. And they, the people that were with them got saved. Not only that, but the, the, the jail keeper, the guard, he was saved and his whole household. <laughs> when you give thanks to God, somebody is watching. Someone can be saved. Just by you giving God praise. Isn't that awesome? You don't have to worry about carrying a big Bible around. You don't have to worry about a big cross. Just live a life of holiness. Be true to the God that we serve. And God will draw souls to you. But you got to be ready. It's not time to talk about the the game, the basketball game, the football game. When people come to you, they're looking for answers. And we've got the answer. Jesus Christ is the answer for the world today. What the world needs is love. And God is love. And that's exactly what they need. They need God's love. They need God in their lives. And you are the one. I am the one. To let them know we are ministers of reconciliation. We are the ones to help bring our brothers and sisters to Christ. Those that don't know God. It is our job to testify of his goodness. So I challenge you, son of God. Give God thanks. So that others, nations, your neighbors, 
your family will know that God is God and that they will say, I want to know this God. I want to know the God that you serve. If he could do that for you, what? He healed you from cancer? What? You had COVID and you're still here? You you built a house when you retired in during the pandemic? What? You you never missed a payment? Oh, you're see, when things like that happen, it's only God. Don't take the glory. Oh yeah, I did. I worked hard. No. Give God the glory. Because he deserves it. And only he deserves it. He said, I will share my glory with no man. He's a jealous God. So give him all the praise that's due his name. Son of God. Let's give God praise. Let's be a witness. Good ambassadors here on this earth. Hallelujah. I encourage you to do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray. Father, 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 in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, we come before you, giving you glory, giving you honor, giving you praise, thanking you for the great things that you have done in our lives that we are so grateful for. God, we love you, we bless you, we adore you. There is no other God beside you. You are the awesome God. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Thank you. Father, we ask that you would grant us peace, Lord God. Father, we ask for mercy. Have mercy upon us according to thy loving kindness, according to thy multitude of grace and mercy. Blood out our transgressions, O God. Forgive us of every sin, sins of commission, sins of omission, God. We acknowledge you as our Lord and Savior. We crown you as master and king of our lives. Therefore, we are the kingdom of God and we bring the kingdom of heaven everywhere we go. We change atmospheres because of you. For greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. God, we thank you. We adore you. We bless you. We honor you. May our lives be glory to you, Lord. May our lives give you praise and honor. May our words, the words that we speak, glorify you. May the actions, the deeds that we do bring you glory, God. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you as our paracletus, the one that lives inside of us, the one that walks alongside us and leads us and guides us into all truth. Holy Spirit, teach us how to partner with you. Teach us how to walk and work in the supernatural in the name of Jesus. For the Father created us in his own image and likeness. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you that we know the door. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. Teach us how to go in and come out with what we need here on this earth. Thank you that miracles, that signs, and wonders follow our lives as we share the word of God. Father, validate your word with miracles, signs, and wonders, not for us, but for the unbeliever, that they will know that you are truly God, like you did with Elijah, God, like you did with Elisha, God. You are the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. So, Father, we look to you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. Father, we thank you for revealing, oh God, what was once a mystery, but thank you, Lord, for revealing our hope of glory, Jesus Christ living inside of us. And as we live inside of him, we're inside of you because he is inside of the Father. Father, help us that we will walk and imitate Jesus Christ. For he said, I only do what I see the Father doing. So Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to do what only we see Jesus Christ doing. And he went around doing good everywhere he went. So Father, help us to do just that, to do good everywhere we go. That we will set the captive free for the spirit of the Lord God is upon us. You have anointed us, oh God, 
to set the captives free, to preach the acceptable year of our Lord. Father, we love you, we bless you, we adore you, we magnify you. Thank you for making us ministers of reconciliation. Thank you that we are your ambassadors here on the earth. Holy Spirit, teach us how to walk in the authority that our daddy has given us. Teach us how to be, multi be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, to subdue, and to have dominion here on this earth. Father, we thank you that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but that of power, love, and a sound mind. So, Father, we understand that the kingdom of heaven suffered violent and the violent take it by force. Father, help us to take your kingdom by force. Help us to spread your kingdom by force, on purpose, intentionally, Lord. You said you would not have us ignorant concerning the devices of the enemy. So, Father, teach us how to hear your voice clearly. We thank you for clarity, Lord. We thank you that we hear your voice. You said your sheep recognize your voice and follow you. We say yes to your will and yes to your way. We follow you, Father. Holy Spirit, we follow you. Thank you for your word, which is a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our pathway. A lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Thank you. Father, as we hide your word in our heart, that we will not sin against you. Thank you that we can abide in you and your word abide in us. That we can ask what we will and it shall be done. Father, we love your word. We love your truth. Thank you that every promise in you is yes and amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God, that you are our Father, that you've engrafted us into the plan of salvation, that we are no longer the same, but we are new creatures in you. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Father, thank you that we are your royal priesthood. We are a holy generation, a holy nation called forth to give you glory. To show forth your glory. You have taken us out of darkness and put us into your marvelous light. Father, thank you. Thank you. We are so grateful for all that you've done in our lives. Thank you, Lord, that you've never left us and never will. Thank you, Lord. And we ask, Lord God, that you would open up even greater unto us the riches of your word. Break it forth open to us, God, that we will discern the truths of your word, that we will understand, and we will walk thereby. Every promise in you is yes and amen. You said if any lack wisdom that we can ask from you. So, Father, thank you. We ask for wisdom tonight. We ask for wisdom today. We ask for wisdom, Father. You give liberally and you upbraid not. Father, we pray that you will give us the spirit of the sons of Issachar, that we will discern the seasons and the times, that we will hear and understand your word, your voice, your will, your plans. Father, we come against the spirit of deception, of discontentment, Every lying spirit in the name of Jesus would come against it, the blood of Jesus. Father, you would not have us to be deceived. But Father, lead us. Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us into all truth. Help us to hear your voice in everything and in every way. Help us to seek your face in every circumstance. For we will lift up our eyes into the hills from which cometh our help. Our help comes from you, Lord, for you are our refuge and our strength. You are our very present help in time of trouble. Father, we thank you that you protect our families, our friends. We pray for the backsliders. We pray for those that are sinners, Lord, that don't know you and the pardon of their sins. Those that once knew you, those that were brought up in holiness. Father, we pray for them now. We pray for every son of God that... We would stand in our rightful places, that we would manifest, Lord, and that we would stand in our rightful places. For you have seated us in heavenly places. Father, Father, Father. 
thank you for such a privilege that we could come boldly before the throne of grace there to obtain mercy in the time of need. Thank you that we have the awesome privilege of worshiping you and seeing you face to face, oh God, as we worship and minister unto you. Father, open up our eyes. Take us deeper in you, Lord. Deeper depths that we would understand the length, breadth, height of your love and your glory. Take us from glory to glory. God, I pray that you would trust us with dreams, with vision. Use us for your glory, God. We totally surrender to you. We totally submit to you. Your will be done, Lord, in our lives. Your will be done. We say, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it already is done in heaven. So, Father, on earth and in our lives, we say yes to your will, Father. Yes to your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes, completely yes. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. We say yes. Every day we say yes. Thank you for your faithfulness. You've been so faithful unto us. You've been so merciful unto us. So Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you that you've already answered this prayer. You always hear our prayer. Father, unite our hearts with yours. Knit our hearts together that we will walk in tandem. Oh God, align our hearts, our minds, our vision. Oh God, that we would be on the same frequency, the same channel, the same page as you, Father. We don't want to go our own way, but God, we say, thy will be done. Your will, Daddy. Your will, not ours. Your will be done in our homes, on our jobs, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in America, internationally. Your will be done. Heal, deliver, and set free, Lord, as only your spirit can. We look to you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. You will establish every word. Father, we thank you that you look over your word to perform every, every word that you have spoken. Thank you for your archangels, for your angels that you have put in charge of us. Father, dispatch your archangels, your warring angels in our communities, in our homes. In our nation, Lord. In the name of Jesus. That your will will be done on earth. I pray for every fivefold ministry gift. Every apostle. Every prophet. Every evangelist. Every pastor. Every teacher. Father, that we will all do what you have called us to do. Father, let there be no disillusionment. Let there be no uh, confusion, for you are not a God of confusion, but you are a God of order. So, Father, Father, this is a new way. So we rely totally on you, Holy Spirit. We rely on you to lead us, for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Father, as we walk in the path in which you have chosen for us. We say yes to your will and yes to your way. Lead us. Guide us. Protect us. Strengthen us. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Strengthen us, God. That we will represent you well here on this earth. That we will complete every ministry task, every assignment, we come against the spirit of abortion that will want anyone of us to abort the task or the mission that you have given us to do. Thank you for long life, for strength, Lord God, that we will be able to fulfill every purpose, plan, and destiny that you have written in our books. God, we thank you. God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for the spirit of God that lives inside of us. Have your way in our lives. We say yes. God, we love you so very much. We appreciate you so very much for all that you've done. 
what you've done, what you're doing, and what you shall do. We have great expectation. Our faith is in you. Our hope is in you. Our trust is in you. For you are our firm foundation. And we give you praise. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. We love you. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy, his mercy endureth forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for great things he has done. He's been mighty, mighty good to us. Well, beloved, this has been Moet Shorada, the appointed time of refreshing. I pray that you've been blessed, revived, and refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Shalom. <laughs>